All right, guys, I'm back in my dorm. Today was a great day of fishing. I caught a ton of trout. I went to a small lake. It's early ice here in Colorado. I used a bunch of different baits, and I just had a blast. I don't want to talk too much or give too much away, so let's just dive right in. All right, guys, so I'm starting off. I'm setting up my Humminbird Helix 5 um, GPS G2 as well as my iFish Pro. Now I use the iFish Pro to dead stick because I have a second rod stamp. And a lot of fish prefer the dead stick. This was the first fish of the day. It came on a small tungsten jig tipped with a trout magnet, um, soft plastic and red. Now the lake I'm at is actually artificial flies and lures only so I cannot tip any of my lures or jigs with wax worms or mealworms. So everything's all soft plastics or um, lures like spoons and lipless cranks. Today the fish were super active, I mean they were very aggressive. I would barely even see them come on the grass before they were eating and before I felt the bite. And uh, the iFish Pro actually only got one hit. I did not catch the fish, sadly he spit out the jig. I'm assuming because there's no you know, wax worm or anything on it, it's just a soft plastic on a hook, pretty much. Now right here I switched, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but that fish was actually hooked by the tail. So what I did was I switched to a lipless crankbait, and the fish was so aggressive that he swiped at it and actually missed, and got hooked by the tail. So I made sure to unhook him as quick as possible, and let him go. This was actually one of the highlights of the day, so this is actually a really beautiful brook trout. Beautiful orange colors on him. He was super fat as well. That awesome release right there. Here's the Dynamic Lures lipless crankbait that I was using. It's in the perch pattern. Because the fish were so aggressive, I actually did not switch from this bait for the rest of the day. It was doing just well. And if you guys can tell, I'm not in the hut anymore. I actually um, decided to go out and start scouting some more of the water because I'm not very familiar with the rest of the lake. And so I was doing a run and gun approach, just taking nothing but my hummingbird, one rod, my auger, and a scooper. And staying mobile, staying active, moving around. And in this spot, I actually found a nice hole that was deeper than where I was fishing with the hut and it was just loaded with fish. I'm actually surprised I didn't lose that one right there with how much I was tangled up with the transducer. Another little rainbow, nothing too bad. Um, awesome little fight though on my light action rod. I was doing all catch and release today just because it is a small lake and um, I also live in a dorm room so cooking fish isn't the easiest here. This fish was putting up one heck of a fight. I could not turn him for anything. You can see how careful I'm trying to be because of that lipless crankbait. It has two exposed treble hooks, so trying to grab fish can be a uh, turn nasty very quickly. You get a hook in your finger. This was one of the better trout of the day, for sure. Put up an awesome fight. Hook came right out. Nice little rainbow. So if you guys haven't noticed yet, the transducer may look different than a normal ice transducer and that's because I'm using the boat transducer with my hummingbird through the ice. If you guys didn't know that, you could use your boat transducer year round, even ice fishing. If you guys are interested in learning how I set mine up for the ice, 
just comment below, let me know, and I'll make sure to make a tutorial to show you guys how I have it all set up. This fish was fighting very hard and I was either in, hooked up with a giant rainbow or it was foul hooked again because I was still using the liquid screen. And you probably guessed it, the fish was foul hooked. This one I actually thought I lost him for a second so I think it might have um, came out of his mouth and just snagged onto his tail after the hook came out. Like I said earlier, this one hole was just stacked. It was um, the deepest spot I could find, and it was just stacked with fish. I mean, every couple minutes they were coming in on the flasher. That fish actually ate on the fall, which was so awesome. I always love the surprise when you just drop down your bait and all of a sudden it tightens up before you're expecting it. do that you know they're really fired up and so this trout actually the hook did come out but he was wrapped up in my line so there was actually no hooks in him by the time I brought him out of a hole the line was just wrapped around his body Now this is one of the nicest trout of the day, uh, I'm actually back in the hut, not because I caught him in the hut, I actually caught him right outside the hut, but my GoPro died, and so I wanted to take him in the hut to keep him warm, keep him in the water, just so I could get the, a new battery in the GoPro, and let you guys see this, this uh, beautiful fish. Now here's just some underwater footage I was getting. This. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to release a video of just underwater footage, it's just a short clip, you know, maybe a minute or two, I have a bunch of really cool shots I got, like that, lost that fish sadly, but you guys can see there's some really cool angles going on there. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like button below and comment below if you've already gotten uh, out on the ice this year or if you can't wait to get out. I know I couldn't wait to get out. I had a blast and I can't wait to put out more videos for you guys. There's a lot of cool stuff coming soon. Got some cool challenges, um, quick tutorials and tips. Whole bunch of stuff coming your guys' way. I'm be putting out a lot of content and I hope you guys are excited as I am. If you are, make sure to hit the, the notification bell as well when you guys subscribe. It means a lot to me and if you do subscribe, comment that as well. And I'll make sure to go down and thank every single one of you. And if you guys live in Colorado, make sure to, you know, get in contact with me. I have uh, Instagram at fishing underscore Damon. I'll put it right here. And uh, also, you know, message me however you can. Comment below. We'll get in contact if you want to meet up and go fishing somewhere. I love to meet new people. Let's get out on the water.